Hello everyone, uh, Tim here again, and I want to go ahead and uh, look at advanced uh, Google searching. And what I've done is I've just left my uh, web browser uh, where I finished up the last video on some basic searching where I put in the word uh, Apple. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we had over 2 billion hits. Uh, we all need to be able to teach our students to be able to fill the down results uh, so we can reduce the number, obviously, and hopefully be able to really zero in on the content uh, that's going to be uh, useful for them and for us. And, uh, you know, again, I mentioned about digital citizenship, citizenship in the first video uh, and also about, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the four C's um, when it comes down to education. And one of them is critical thinking. So we, we really have to teach uh, students and really everyone, all learners, that we have to be critical thinkers when it comes to content on the web. And so some of the things I show you here in advanced search uh, will help narrow the results down that we hope our students are viewing content that is uh, reliable and valid. So again, I, again, I keep the word Apple in here. And the way we want to uh, go to advanced search is we go over here again to our more options and we go down to advanced search right here. Now, Going to advanced search this way, it's, it's, it's a way that we can basically use like a fill in a form format in order to narrow our search results down. Now, uh, on the right hand side, when we're using this form, it basically will tell us, hey, this is how you can do it directly in the search box. So if I was to go back out to my search box, and I'm just going to go back out there, in other words, I can type in things using my keyboard to get the exact same results as using this advanced search. So, and if you do this enough, you know, you can't learn that because some people think it's a little bit faster. Uh, call it a lazy person's way to do it this way, whatever. But a lot of times I'll just go here and fill this form out. But again, on the right hand side in this column, it will tell you that, hey, you know, if you just put in exact words with quotes, which is, of course, some of the basic search tips from the uh, uh, articles I've shared with you during this session. Uh, it will show you how you can just do it by using the uh, actual search box and how you can type in to get some of these results. So let me quickly here just uh, show you some of the options here in the advanced search. And let's say, for example, that um, I'm searching Apple, but really what I want to do is like search maybe Apple Pie, let's say, one of my favorite favorites. So let's say this exact word or phrase. So what I'll do is I'll put in Apple Pie. And again, I could have done this by just using quotation marks around it when I did my original search. But again, this is again like the, the lazy person's way of doing it, and uh, just to demonstrate the tool. And it says any of these words. So, you know, I can put in here, I can put, uh, you know, um, maybe I want to uh, put a, a specific terms that, that may be a, kind of associated to it. You know, maybe some people like uh, a la mode you know, for their apple pie, et cetera. So if I want any other words kind of that are similar to that, I can put them in here if I want to do that. But uh, when it comes to the field, none of these words, uh, I don't want anything dealing with Apple when it comes to like computer, you know, uh, or technology. So I can put in these words, and it's the same thing as if I put like a minus in front of them back in the search box. If I'm looking at something from a number range, like I'm looking for a price of something, you know, I can do like 100 to 500. Uh, I'm not going to really look at that like when it comes to the price of apple pies, but numbers may come in handy from a range. Uh, other thing you can do is language. This is great you know, for ELL. Uh, if you want to look at uh, your results by a specific language, you can do that. So if I'm teaching French, Spanish, you know, I can get to my results in a specific language there as an option. Uh, region, a lot, this is kind of one that's forgotten, but it's, 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 uh, I think it's a great uh, tool to keep in mind. Uh, when, you, when you're teaching, especially when it comes down to current events, uh, history, social sciences, et cetera. Uh, for example, let's say I was looking up ISIS. You know, obviously, right now, it kind of defaults to my physical location. The, the, the things written about ISIS I'm, when it comes to the American side or here in the United States, I'm sure it's going to be a lot different than if I chose Afghanistan, okay? Uh, you know, Syria, et cetera. So it's, it's great when it comes to students critically looking at content, if you change the region where the results are coming from for your hits. So especially when it comes down to news, you can see the biases that may occur in certain countries. So a great little option to change right here is the region you're getting results from. 
Uh, this late last update, this is very similar to the search tools I so, had shown you in the previous video, but you can select them here too. I just want results like in the past 24 hours, week, month, year, et cetera. I'm just leaving them any time for now. This is a big one right here. What you do is put in a specific site or domain that you just want to search. And here, you know, your dot coms are pretty wide open and your dot orgs are pretty wide open. But if I'm looking for, again, something maybe dealing uh, with something related to government, if I put in dot gov, it will only bring up government sites, which more than likely I would like to think that that content would be uh, valid and reliable. Uh, dot edu sites usually are also very reliable. So you might put dot edu here. Uh, so that also uh, could come in very handy. And you can also put in specific domain names like for United Kingdom, be dot UK. Uh, you can add also, it happens, of course, when it comes to reaching, do it up there too, uh, that way. Uh, so this is a nice little option here. Now, again, for Apple Pie, I'm going to put dot edu. Uh, that probably really mirrors my results down. But I'm sure there's some universities might do, obviously, and courses related to cooking, et cetera. Uh, the terms appearing, it can be anywhere on the page. Maybe I just want Apple Pie to be in the title of the page, uh, the text, this in the URL, which I probably don't want to be an idiot with that, or in links to the page. I'm just leaving it anywhere, but you can really filter that down as well. Save search. I've got that turned on, so I'm filtering, but I can actually turn that off here if I want to. Uh, file format uh, or file type. Don't reinvent the wheel. If I'm, for example, creating a PowerPoint, on apple pie recipes what i can do is i can click here and i can filter out just results for powerpoints so that's the thing i'll see i can also find google earth files we'll look a little bit of earth later later uh, excel spreadsheets microsoft word uh pdfs so you can really narrow it down so let's just go out on the limb here i'm not going to say okay i'm looking for apple pie recipes or Rapple Pie and uh, it's at an EDU site, and I want it to be PowerPoints. So now, I'm going to have any luck, we'll find out here. And remember the usage rights I'd shown you earlier? We can also do the usage right here. I want to be free to use or share. That way, I don't want to not violate anyone's uh, uh, knowledge. Okay. Uh, and make sure they're not violating any copyright there. So, uh, so I went and chose that. So, after I put in this criteria, I can click on advanced search and let's see what happens and nothing. Okay. Came up with actual, it doesn't surprise me. So I can go back to reset search tools. Okay. And what it did here is it did bring up, okay, file type. So actually I did actually get some things here uh, when I reset the thing and I, and I got, did get a presentation, a lifelong learning motherhood and apple pie. I got a power PowerPoint. So I did actually get some options here when I did to, to reset. Sometimes that comes up, it really, really happens. But again, this is what I would have gotten if I just, if I would have typed this, I would have gotten these same results right here. Okay, so this is what I was basically doing by using advanced search over here on the right. So a great little tool. A lot of teachers uh, do not uh, take advantage of this. Uh, and, and I tell you, it's very, very important, I think, that you teach uh, all learners to be able to use this tool because it really helps when it comes down to finding valid content. All right, so hope you learned a little bit here about advanced search tips. If there's anything you know, please share them with the class, and I hope everything's going well, and I will see you later.